somebody and don't let somebody come to you and sympathize with you. Say, no. Well, I don't know. I feel so bad for you. No, don't feel bad for me. Don't be ugly to them, but get a little bit hard. I am in God's hands. I am healed. I don't care what they say. Sure, I'm hurting, but I'm healed. Just give me a day or two. This will demonstrate. At 1030, I'm going to go a little further. There was a jar on the floor that went from the catheter. It was all blood. Everything in it was blood. But I said it was this high, that much, and it was all blood. 30 minutes later, the blood was not to here, and this was all white, or vice versa. I was healed, right as I said, 1030. This doctor would like to have had me in surgery and ruined me for life. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you messed us up, brother. You got us go. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure we needed to hear that. Okay. We are looking right at Passover. Passover is the Monday, the last Monday of March. What day is it? 25th? 25th at sundown. At sundown. Now, I don't want to disappoint anybody here, but we are not going to celebrate Easter. Okay. The more I find out about what Easter is, the more it bothers me. And I'm embarrassed over the past. Easter comes from the word is Ithathar. Iththar. Iththar. Okay. And it's a pagan holiday that was designed to uh, celebrate the sun god's birthday or something of that nature. Okay, Constantine decided he was going to bring all of the religions together. And so he did away with, eat, with, with Passover and he came out with Easter, which was the pagan holiday, and he told everybody, the Christians, you're to celebrate this day and call it Easter, and you can uh, then celebrate the resurrection of Christ. And that was stuck on us. Every one of us know that Jesus was not born on the 25th of December. That's another pagan holiday that we have been stuck with. Okay, why am I saying that? And there's other things. I'm saying that we will celebrate. You say, but I'm working on Monday. you got to do what you got to do. Jesus said, if the, if the, if the uh, falls on the ditch, falls in the ditch on Sunday, the bull, or what do you call it? Ox. Yeah. Oxygen. Ox. The oxygen. That's right. Call the bull. <laughs> if the oxygen falls in the... the ox. Ox. <laughs> The ox, O-X, falls in the ditch on Sunday, pull it out on oh, no. Sunday. Yeah. If, not on Sunday. He didn't say a word about Sunday. No, he didn't. So the Sabbath on Saturday. Yeah. It was Constantine who changed that to Sunday in order to blend with another pagan holiday. We have been duped by an emperor hundreds and hundreds of years ago to do things they actually celebrate pagan holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jesus said if the ox falls in the ditch on Sunday, it could be a bull. It could be one yeah, of those other things. Yeah, it could be any one of those. Okay. Yes. <laughs> falls in the ditch on Sunday, pull it out. Okay, if you have to work, you got to work. Nobody's going to argue with that. But this is a very sacred time. I want you to listen to this scripture. Exodus, the 12th chapter, verse 12, 13, and 14. We'll say a lot more about this in the days ahead. Now don't forget the things we've talked about. Don't let them get out of your mind. Your spirit. Exodus, the 12th chapter, verse 12. <coughs> And we will celebrate on that Monday evening at sundown right here. And we'll have food. And uh, we'll celebrate. And we'll talk more about it. All right, Exodus 12, 12. See, in the original Passover, they did food. They sat together and they ate together. We will not kill a lamb. Jesus has already given his blood. It's unnecessary. All right. 
For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all of the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. But I smite the land of Egypt, and this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And you shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it a feast by an ordinance. What? Everlasting. For everlasting ordinance. This says for an ordinance forever. Now, how many of us believe we are the we are the recipients of Abraham's blessing? Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. This puts us right in the middle of this. We are probably more of Abraham. Well, probably nothing. We are more of Abraham's descendants through the adoption of Jesus Christ's blood than Jews are, and they who are. Born again, those who are uh, saved, Christians, Messianic, they're no more recipients of Abraham than we are. Okay, so this says, you shall keep it a feast, now this is the time you sit down and eat together, to the Lord throughout your generations, then he, he increased it, you shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever, or how's it read in yours? An everlasting ordinance. An everlasting ordinance. Still means forever. Forever. <laughs> it is not. It is not Old Testament that died. 